<laughs> Hi, beloved seekers of the truth. I am Carolina Cummins, and this is my very first episode of Living Life from Love. For me, the most important thing in life is to make love my guide, to base my life on l living from love. So my foundation is coming from my heart, coming from my love, whenever I remember, whenever I am aware to do so, which is my goal, my mission. And my passion is to be part of eliminating all suffering, inner suffering, on, in this, on this planet. And therefore, re coming back home to our love, that lives in our heart. If we all can undo and and let go of all and every suffering that we carry within us, we will come back to love automatically because that is what resides with us all the time. It's there all the time. We can always plug into it. So it is my greatest passion to assist other people as well as myself to live a life from love. And what does that mean? It means to embrace and love and accept all and everything in our life and within us. All in every feeling, all in every lack of money, lack of love, lack of friends, all in every scenario, all and every experience, all and everything we have chosen in the past, perhaps, to hide away somewhere so nobody would know about it. Everything that we want to avoid because we cannot admit a certain behavior, a certain something we've done, all and everything about not wanting to be seen, about hiding away, staying small, playing small, all and everything that is not of the infinite, abundant and expansive nature that we truly are. In our heart we carry all possibilities. In our heart we carry a life that is full of joy and peace and love and abundance in all areas of life. But as long as we are still believing in or perpetuating anything that is less than loving, that is less than a loving experience, we will not achieve that full joy or peace or love in our lives. All and everything that is not true love basically needs to be embraced, needs to be met, looked at and then embraced and loved. And that way, the mind and the heart come together and melt back as one. The mind, where the thought comes from, like, I'm not wanted, I'm not good enough, I'm not loved, nobody wants me. The mind is carrying that thought. And if we bring it into our heart and we meet it with our love from our heart, the two merge and that is the true soulmate relationship that we are looking for on the outside. When we are melting our own heart with our own mind, we are achieving that soulmate relationship within us. And then we are feeling completely whole and magnificent. It is, we do not need a partnership on the outside any longer. Of course, we would still choose it because it's, it's enjoyable to be together, to share our lives with another beloved, but we will not need it anymore. So all and everything that's created within the egoic mind is always lacking safety. The egoic mind always wants safety. It does not feel safe ever. And love, the true love that we are, is completely safe. It doesn't need safety at all. It is already, safety is already built in, 
in our heart, as it is the consciousness of all. It is the life force. It is the substance that is containing all and everything. It is like a seed bank of everything that could possibly be created. In there, there is no need for safety. And that's my passion, to live a life from that love that is able to embrace and love all and everything, no matter what it is. Any person you have had arguments with, any person you might say, I hate him, I hate her. If you can get yourself to embrace and love that person, you will feel so much lighter, so much freer, and true happiness can arise. But with keeping that hate there, you will never be able to feel truly peaceful, truly loved, and truly expansive and free. True freedom is created and lived in the heart. When we are able to bring all and everything that is not born from love into our heart and love it, we are free. That is true freedom. <laughs> so as a practice that I have experienced and practiced many, many times is whenever I feel something like deep frustration or anxiety, I would look at it as if it's a little child, a little person. And very often it is my own inner child. And I would, with my own adult me, with, with the big me, I would embrace, I would embrace the little me from the big me. I would embrace the little me from my heart and feel it as if it's my own little baby. And just give it the love that I would give my own little baby. Just hold it, embrace it until that feeling goes and it will go at first it might take a few attempts when you first start with this but now it takes me 10 minutes i've just cleared a, an anxiety that i've had all my life and now i can't find it anymore i just i am just free free of it and that is the practice that i would like to offer to the world i would like to assist any and everybody who would like to have the assistance, who find it difficult to work this all out by themselves, and who, could, who would love to have a supporter, a mentor, a friend, that is who is unconditionally loving to all and everything that they are experiencing. That is, that is my passion. I wish to love all and everything. I wish to spread love and only love. And I wish to view everything from the eyes of love. So I will leave you with this. Until next time. Bye bye.